Evening everybody. Um so tonight it's actually quite late. It's, I think it's gone about quarter past eleven at night. Um I decided and well I wanted to do this. When did I want to do this? My needles are falling out of boy. Um I wanted to do this video. Um actually it's a request. It's not I wanted to do it, it was a request. I sent a my swap to Avril. Um, I'm part of, well, I run a swap group on Facebook, so if you're interested, come on over. It's not just a swap group, we do other things and pieces like challenges, and there's all different things that go on, so um, it's not just a swap group. But anyway, Avril is part of that swap group. She is Poppet or Poppy's Ribbon and Lace. I leave a link to her channel below so you can just pop on over. And anyway, I she is not on facebook but she is on youtube and she wanted to be a part of our swap group and i thought well i'm not saying no why you know why not why not be part of our swap group she wants to craft she wants to join in on the swaps and the fun that we're having um and she's been doing it since september how we just said september october time last year so she's been in there for a few months anyway I sent her a card with her swap and Avril was really surprised and she wondered how I had done it. Um, I make my cards all different ways. Um, I started to make this card. Um, this was actually inspired by Linda who sent me a rack yesterday, day before, and she made a beautiful card for me. It was absolutely out of this world. It's actually in my living room. That's why I can't show you at the moment. I should have got it ready and should have shown you it. But um, I was really inspired because she used acetate on her cards. So what I did, I sat down and I'm still trying to sort of, I loved the way she had sort of different elements of craft materials. Like she had filigree pieces, flowers, pictures, die cuts the lot um and i sat down and i wondered whether i could do it so i'm sort of halfway through ish um doing it and i want to do the envelope because this is actually going to um a dear friend of mine who i won't say what her name is at the moment but it's going to her um and the envelope now, when we send cards, especially when we buy cards at the shop, cards are plain. You write somebody's name on the front and then it goes in the bin. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a different use of the card that you're sending and how the receiver, whoever gets the card that you're sending with the envelope, how the receiver can use it afterwards. Because um, I'm all about reusing things like ribbons. You know, when ribbons are packed up nicely um, in packaging, I had to take the ribbons off and use them. So I'm all about reusing things. So I'm going to show you how I did the envelope for Avril. The inside was actually done by Green Glitter. Now, I haven't got any Green Glitter. Um, the Green Glitter was actually given to me by um, a lady in another swap group. And she gave it she that's what she put in a parcel now avril wondered last hour when she opened it up she said oh oh god look at this envelope oh my days look at this envelope and she was so excited and she wondered how i did it so this is where my step through process is i'm gonna add a few more things to it because like i say i'm all about reusing things after um well, after you've had them, I'm terrible when it goes to like throwing cereal boxes out or boxes that food packaging and commit. I'm really, really bad. I want to keep it all for crafting. So, anyway, so all you need is some decoupage paper. Um, but now I don't know whether to give this a go. I think I will actually. I bought, I might have to sort of flick off to do this. Um, no. I bought some decoupage, A4 printable decoupage paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto Pinterest. I'm going to go and find a free 
free printable shabby chic background I'm not going to use this I'm going to use this because I bought it the other day but if you come across this it's really thin it's like tissue paper um, and basically you just tear it off um, and that's what I used on Avril's envelope but I'm actually going to use decoupage paper that I picked up in the range now before I disappear and find a picture off Pinterest this wall came from the range you have 12 piece you have 12 sort of sheets in a pack because they are really thin decoupage paper and it was one pound fifty it was on sale in the range so i'm going to go and find a background and i will be back with you in a second right so i'm back so i decided not to go under pinterest um recently i've been purchasing some gorgeous papers um from etsy and they are printable pdf papers and you can buy them in like um oh in like packs like normal packs like you would in the shop 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 or you can buy them singly now sometimes i've noticed it does just depend whether you like the whole pack like you would in the shop and you buy the whole pack or whether you just like my hands are full of ink so i do apologize or whether you just like the um single sheet now these that i'm showing you i think it's the ink of the pages these that i'm showing you are single they've come out they gorgeous paper um and it's 175 and i had another two sheets as well to go with this but i printed the same image out twice because we're going to do the envelope with it and i've also got these now these were off etsy again um and they came and they sort of come in like that um so i'm thinking of using the yellow one because the lady who i'm making for loves roses she absolutely adores roses so um like i say you can use so this is the paper and as you can see it's really thin um i've done it for for a glossy uh, finish but you can do it as a matte finish it all depends whether your satin comes up with the computer so if you want me to show you it again it's this it's called printable decoupage paper and it's easy it's just you put it in the machine like you would normal paper and it prints out as thin as decoupage paper does so let's crack on or you can use the decoupage paper um that you would normally find in a shop Whatever my, I don't know where my things are going. Right, okay. So the first thing we need to do, and I've got some other bits and pieces as well, is I've got a decoupage brush and I've got my pot. And this is how I did Avril's envelope. So what you need to do, firstly, is make sure your envelope is open as in the top is open because you'll need to do the top now i tended when i did avril's and when i'm going to do this one um i'm putting glue all the way around the edges because that will secure i don't need to put a lot of glue a it's mod podge and b if i put a lot of glue it's going to be seeping through the paper because the paper don't forget i'm using decoupage paper and it's really 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 thin so all the way around now this sheet is a little bit shy um, to reach the top point and um, that's okay because we're going to do something to the top point which will um which will solve that problem anyway so i'm not doing right to the top because i know i've measured my paper and I do know that it's not going to get to the top, so I'm not bothered in doing the top. But I will bother doing the crease. Right. I'm going to move that to one side. Um, and then get your decoupage paper. Now, this is the same um, width. Like I say, it is a bit shy to reach the top. 
And the trick now, I don't know, you can't see. The trick now is to, I'm going to turn this around so I can see me doing it. Otherwise, I'm going to get in the right mess. Is to line up those edges. Now, I'll show you what I've done. So I've left a gap this side and I should have left a gap on this side as well. So let me just peel that back a little bit. Might need a little bit more glue. Okay. Might need a little bit more glue. The idea is you peel back. Well, you don't peel back because if you've done it, if you've done it right the first time and left yourself enough gap, you won't need to do the glue the second time round. But I peeled it off only because I do know that I do know that it's not going to sit right. So the idea is you leave at least at least a bit of a gap each side of this decoupage paper and before that gets stuck down there's my gap there look and, and there's my gap on that side too Like I say, it's not going to reach to the top because I know it's not going to reach to the top. But there's a reason why I left the gap. Now, there's my gap that side. So it's what? I don't know. About measure it for you, but it's not even. It's 0.2 cent. 0.2, whatever you want to call it. And it's 0.3 centimeters. So that's what it is in the gap, right? So, once you've got that securely down, like I say, the top isn't going to reach. I have noticed it's gone a little bit dry with the glue. Just for you, peel that back. So, with Avril's envelope, I did it exactly the same way, but I didn't use decoupage paper because I didn't really know it existed till I went in the shop the other day. So, that's the gap that's left at the top. I'm not bothered. So I tell you why we're going to create a stamp on the top and that will solve that problem so on the back it's the same thing on the back now I am using the same paper but I'm actually going to mark out um, I'm going to mark out where Up there. I'm going to mark out where it stops here. As for coming down and around, again, I'm not bothered because I can do this when it's all dry. So I'm going to turn my paper that way. I'm going to grab my ruler. Maybe do this. And I'm going to make a nice line down. Now you could do this on smaller envelopes, for journals. Like I say, Avril was so excited when she opened the envelope. And there's Avril, you did guess right, it was me. So there's my line. Just checking if that's straight. No, it's not straight. Yeah, it went straight. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it there. Um, and I'm going to leave it overnight. But you don't have to leave it overnight. You can come back, you know, leave it for an hour or 20 minutes. Or if you've got a hairdryer or heat gun or anything like that, leave it sort of air dry first. And then you can use your heat gun. I'll tell you why. Because it's decoupage paper, I found that before when I've used the heat gun, um, the paper tends to... Um, crinkle so I am gonna 
Can I pick up rubber, whatever? I did see it. Where did I put it? Tidy my room today as well, and I, now I can't find anything. <laughs> Haven't got it. Right, okay. Can't find anything. Right, okay. So again, with that gap, make sure now, because we've left that gap, that the line here matches up with the gap you've left on the edge. Because what will end up happening if you go in, right, is it won't... Um, I'm saying that wrong. No, I'm saying that wrong. Ignore me. What we need... Right, we've measured the height. It's not what I've just said. This gap is going to get folded over. Because when we cut it, right, we don't have to leave a gap on the back piece. That's right. You just ignore what I've just said. <laughs> ignore what I've just said. When we cut it, the 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 it's going to create a finish on the edge. So it's going to look as if the paper goes over and we haven't done nothing to it. That's what it'll look like. So I'm going to put a little bit of strip of glue. Again, I'm using Mod Podge, nothing special. My poor hubby is waiting to go to bed. I'm keeping him up. I've been working on another project tonight, but I was dying to sort of come on and do a project with you guys. Right. So as you can see, it's created a nice edge. So it look like that and that's why you left the gap so and you do the same side so fold it over first so you know you've got plenty of room to play with the back piece then doesn't have to have a gap because you only want one side to have the gap to fold over if i did the gap on the back piece what will happen is i'll fold that over and then you'll see the line you'll see this line on the front so i'm sort of trying to tidy my edges up as well as making the envelope look pretty. Right. There. I'm not bothered by the top bit at the moment, but I will snip just there and on the other side to remind me where the where it stops to be in that top bit. Right. Now what we want to do is we're going to stick this piece now on here. So we're going to match the bottom up. And then don't worry about the gap being on the side because we can snip that straight off. What I will do to make it easier, like I say, I left Avril's car envelope overnight to dry. Um, and I might do the same with this one and come back to it in the morning because it's a mod project I'm using. And it's thin paper, and I want to make sure it's dry before I go and sort of go into the next step. I think that's what I'll do, see what we do for time. Okay. Make sure you get those edges where it's going to get folded. Now this side, this envelope, I'm going to match, but I'm going to have my, my. it's going to overlap, but I'm just going to overlap it on one side, save me cutting it both sides, and I quite like this, so I want it on the back of my envelope, and I don't want to be cutting anything of that pattern off. And if you're not sure that it's just lined up, Okay. 
and I've gone wrong yet because it's not overlapping. Oops, took that in. Bring that over. I'm no reason it's crinkling. This is why I want to leave it. Do the edges. Using my plastic ruler instead of my instead of my um oh god come on what's going on yeah to make it a little bit easier for myself I might just snip snip down the middle oh. got one of those bendy rollers We have it now I'm just going to make sure that I've done those um, sides right okay so as you can see it's not overlapping that side but it is overlapping this side and to sort that out I'm just going to cut very close to make sure that I'm not cutting into the front paper either all nice and neat that side as well you see that you sort of can see it on the bottom I'm not fussed about the bottom because I can ink the bottom so where that white says showing I can take my um, ink over the bottom and it won't show so I'm gonna leave that dry but I'm gonna do the top bit before I go to bed and to do that I cut off it's the excess that I cut off the top now I can say it is gonna show you know there is a part of the top that is going to show so i'm going to decide to follow that pattern through and i'm going to put my mod podge just on the lid of the thing i'm going to go across where the paper stops do those edges because those edges will and don't worry about where you stick the envelope down because a you can use um but you can use anything to stick it down. It doesn't necessarily have to be stuck down by those things that are already there. Right. Make sure I've got it all lined up properly. Right, now what I didn't do on this is I didn't fold it over. 
like I said, I didn't fold it over because, as you can see, I never folded it over because I can, because it's the lid, and I know it's the lid. Um, it's fine not to fold it over, but I am going to fold that piece over like so. As a guideline way to cut. So as you can see, I'm just holding the side over. And then that will give me a really good indication where to take my scissors. Okay. Fold this back and then do the same on this side. See, I'm going to keep them because they can be corner tucks. But these pieces, you just need to sort this edge out for you because it's a straight edge. So, little scissors, where's the little scissors? There. And then, there. So all I'm going to do is just press those edges down. I mean, you can't really see the whites through. And that's how you do the top. Like I say, I'm going to leave this to dry. So I will. you'll see this video tonight. But tomorrow, once it's all dry, we'll finish it off and I can show you. Um, I'm only leaving it dry overnight because it's late for me. But I wanted to start the project with you because I just felt that it was such a long time since I came on you. Yeah? And since I made this for Afro, she was so excited. Um, I wanted to show you how you can make yours just as pretty. So tomorrow, like I say, don't get rid of these because they can be used as corner tuck spots for your journaling or your books, your albums. So I'm just going to fold that piece over like... So, I'm just going to snip that piece. And then flick him over. And now, can you see there's a little touch of resistance there tidy that little corner piece up right and while it's still wet don't worry about these because they can be done tomorrow I mean you could either there's so much you could do with the envelopes but I'm not worrying about this because they can be done tomorrow but since it's still wet what I want to do is reinforce this fold um, where's my folding school line there it is so, we know the score line is there for my envelope. And I've just cut a little bit too much of the top. There. Have I done the same on the side? Yeah, I have. Okay. So, fold it over like you would a normal envelope. And when you've got it folded, score it lightly pressing on it because the paper like I say is really really thin so if you go hard you're going to end up with holes but we need to reinforce this because when it dries we obviously want to close our envelope flick it the other way and do it again and then I'm going to you're going to, like I say, you're going to see this video tonight, but I'm actually going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it dry. As you can see now, we have a score line, but this is what our envelope now looks like. So it's gone from a plain white envelope to a normal envelope, uh, to a nice pretty envelope that will hold a really nice card. Um, and 
what if you catch up with me tomorrow you can see why i've missed the corner on purpose why i'm not bothered by that i will be decorating it so i'm not just going to be leaving it there and then i'm going to show you how you can the receiver whoever receives this envelope how you can use it in your projects so it's not just a pretty envelope that you don't know what to do with because it's so pretty you don't want to throw it out but you can use it in your project so i'm going to show you tomorrow how you can do that um and i'm also going to show you how i would decorate it um so stay watching as you usually do i'm going to leave mine overnight to dry but if you're doing this in real time you don't have to leave it overnight it's just it's quarter past 12 at night my hubby's waiting for me to go to bed and um this is decoupage paper so it does need that bit of air dry i would suggest that bit of air dry to let it dry and then if you wanted to you could go with your heat gun or you could go with you know you could go with some sort of heat source to um heating the glue up but that's totally up to you um like i say i will show you then i'll come back tomorrow and i will show you the rest of what i've got planned um like i say i'm not bothered by these we can cut them off tomorrow and now we've got the flap and it does match up my clothes here, it matches up with what's underneath so i will see you guys tomorrow good night god bless no star and i'll catch you up with you tomorrow bye for now